Okay. Uh, Mike you Flynn, good? Nate Hilbron, uh, Dr. Brewer, Coach Greason. Now you want to just start by giving your general, general thoughts on how the game played out, what this means to the program to advance the closing four? Yeah. Um, I thought this was our most consistent and persistent 60 minute effort of the year. They were, uh, I feel they were the best team we played this year and uh, we needed to play our best and I think we did. Uh, even when they had us hemmed in there at times, I, I thought we were able to stay within our structure, keep to the outside nicely. Um, and uh, and uh, when, when we needed big plays to be made, we, we made those big plays. Uh, so it was just a pretty special night, very special night for the program. Um, again, we, we talk about how these are our goals, they're to be players on the national stage and that's why players come to Trinity. And, uh, and it's not just lip service right now. So it was, it's a big win for the program and we're excited for the for next weekend. Jackson, can you tell us about the, uh, the play where the penalty shot was called and then the, the penalty shot itself? <coughs> um, yeah, Sean made a nice pass, Orlando. Um, between the two D, I think it tipped off the D man's stick. I went in, I had some back pressure, so I didn't get off the shot I wanted. Um, saw the ref give the signal. Um, right away, I knew what I was going to do. So, you know, I was pretty tired in that moment, so I didn't really have the nerves to get to me there. So uh, that was nice. But yeah, I went in and obviously felt nice to get that first goal um, for the team because that can set the tempo for the whole game. Did you take any college shot before? Anything? Uh, not at the college level, no. Nate, um, what about Nate, right? Yeah. Nate, um, you can call me Nano. That's fine. Nano? Too. Yeah. <laughs> Nate's fine. Go ahead, right. Nate. Let's stick with Nate now. Hopefully um, the questions get easier. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you had a lot of pucks thrown at you, but like Coach mentioned, it seemed like you guys did a nice job of kind of limiting their grade A opportunities. So what, what enabled you to be so successful, but also what are your thoughts on how the defense kind of operated in front of you to make it a little bit easier on you? Uh, well, one, one of the big keys we talked about before the game was uh, five guys back checking right to the front of the net. And uh, we were really successful that, with that tonight. And so that kind of gave me the confidence, that even if I maybe gave up a bad rebound, if it squared out in the slot, there were guys there to help clean it up. And yeah, I thought that was uh, we won that battle for sure. We, you know, on, all, on the offense, we, we got to the front of the net better than they did. And uh, we did a nice job in our D zone, clearing out pucks, and that uh, gave me a lot of confidence to play my game. Maybe each of you guys could share your thoughts on this, just what the last few weeks have been like with a, a great victory to open this tournament, which you didn't even know that you'd be in. You feared being left out yet again after another terrific season. What kind of an emotional roller coaster has this been like since the NESCAC tournament began? Yeah, I'll start off. Um, yeah, it was definitely uh, a weird week after NESCACs ended. Uh, you know, not in our favor, but we knew we had to keep it positive. Um, we had a great book of work, you know, throughout the season that we were hoping would would get us through to that uh, that next round. And uh, you know, once we got the nod, we were ready to go. We were pretty excited to uh, to have that first round playing game. Um, just because three weeks off would have been a pretty tough task. So uh, it was good getting that one under our belt. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, everyone gets up for, uh, for a big home game versus Plattsburgh. It was nice uh, having that one here. Uh, definitely would have been a uh, hostile environment having to go up there. So, uh, so yeah, we just kept it positive through that, uh, you know, a couple weeks where we weren't sure. And, um, and yeah, I mean, I knew that the group would be ready to go and we were called upon. Um, you know, we've been unbelievable off a loss uh, this season, so I didn't have any doubts that uh, a couple weeks off would hurt us. So, uh, yeah, so all in all, it's a great, uh, great effort tonight and looking forward to Minnesota. How would you guys, do you like the way you responded to that, having to sit on pins and needles for a while? And... Uh, yeah, that was, <clears throat> the Tufts loss was pretty tough to take, but we're a really resilient and persistent group of guys. And so we just tried to come in that uh, next week of practice with a lot of good energy and a lot of positive thoughts. And obviously we got we were fortunate enough to get the bid, and it was a great game against Nichols. I thought we played a really good good game, and uh, they carried on into tonight. And uh, I think we're just going to keep getting better as the road uh, moves forward. Matt, what do you what do you see as the guys heading into the third when you? You just have the one goal of cushion, and then what allowed you to kind of break through in that period, do you 
I mean, since we started, uh, kind of our, our catchphrase is that we'll persist until we succeed, and we'll persist within our structure. Our structure has gotten us here. Um, our trust in each other has gotten us here. Uh, we don't really, we try not to look at the scoreboard until 60 minutes are up, and so we knew if we, we uh, continued <coughs> doing what we're doing, imposing our will on the four check, back pressuring pretty nicely because they're great in transition, um, that, that we'd be all right. And then we got a couple nice bounces there in the third. Um, and, uh, and it was just turned into a real special night for these guys. Is it a time to celebrate and appreciate that? I mean, incredible record the last two years. Now you're in a frozen forward. You just want guys thinking business as usual. Let's try and win two more games. No, we got to enjoy it. I mean, it, there, there's too many times in this, this business where, where we don't spend time uh, enjoying what things we've accomplished. And, uh, time to enjoy it right now. Monday, we'll get back to work and we'll get really focused. But we're going uh, to gonna enjoy the, this great effort um, because these guys have given so much for each other. Um, that, that they, they deserve to enjoy that, not just, uh, not just look forward to the next one. We'll have plenty of time, maybe too much time to look forward to the next one. Did you guys have Minnesota and the Frozen Four on your mind right away coming off of last year? I mean, have you been looking forward to this as a goal since, since day one when you started shifting your focus towards this season? Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think we know the caliber of players we have in our locker room. Um, we had a lot of returners after last year. We also understand how small the tournament is, so one or two wins can get you there. Um, so while we always have in the back of our mind to try to win our league, um, we think we have the capability of, um, you know, playing well on the national stage. And uh, as for this year, we're just happy we got a shot. Um, that's all we could ask for. And, you know, it feels great to get to Minnesota, but we got two more games to win. Nate, uh, just what was it like thinking that you guys were going to Flatbridge and then finding out that you get a home game? That was huge. Um, <clears throat> actually, one of uh, our teammates, Mike Hawk Hawker, he has a friend at Geneseo, and he was telling him that it was really hard to play uh, up at Plattsburgh because of the size of their ice. It's a bit smaller, and they uh, pack it in pretty good. So having a home game here was pretty nice with the bigger sheet. Uh, definitely it was for our advantage, uh, to our speed, and just a little bit of finesse. And I think it really was a nice confidence boost to have uh, some fans back on campus after the spring break as well. Matt, the Plattsburgh guys were saying that at 2 nothing they felt fine. There's plenty of time left. But when a team gets that third goal on you, that's the one that kind of knocks the wind out of you. Did you feel that way once you went up 3 nothing? Like, okay, no. <laughs> In a word, no. I mean, that team is so talented. Uh, they, we, uh, we, we did a pretty good job combating a lot of that talent today and was able to keep that talent to the outside and outnumber some of it. But I'll tell you, when I took the breath was when we scored the fifth one. I didn't take the breath until, uh, until we got the empty netter, and then I kind of looked around and, and enjoyed the moment for a little bit because sitting behind that bench, you don't get to really enjoy it. And I, I took the last 30, 45 seconds to, to enjoy uh, what, what these guys did today.